Florida State lands an offensive tackle in its 2023 class. He's Michael Langston, the senior recruiting analyst for Warchant.com. My name is Tom Lang, and we're talking about Lucas Simmons, an offensive tackle, international-type prospect from Clearwater International Academy. And you'll be seeing his profile on the screen right there, an on three consensus four-star player, Michael. This is another large pickup at a position of need every year, but certainly for Florida State, which has not done a whole lot of hauling in this type of player year in and year out. Looks like times are changing, Michael. Yeah, Lucas Simmons, uh, just a phenomenal prospect. I mean, you look at, you know, whether you're studying his film or you're you're just watching him in general. I mean, like you feel like, you know, this could be an all ACC type of guy and certainly a guy that has a future in the NFL if everything materializes with the development with Coach Atkins. But it's originally from, he's from Sweden. So it was funny just talking to him, just kind of listening to the different things that he got used to in America his dad kind of coached him a lot before they got over to, you know, Clearwater uh, uh, Academy, uh, International Academy, and um, and really just learned a lot. And he soaks up stuff so fast. That's the thing I noticed about him, whether I was watching him at the elite camp or, or, or the Seminole Showcase, and or if you just watch his film from week to week, he picks up stuff so fast uh, as far as uh, making it, learning it, and then also applying it. Um, he's got skills you can't teach, six, seven. Uh, moves like a tight end the way he, way, way his feet footwork is and um, just just uh, one that I know uh, the staff for FSU is over the moon on um, they they know what they're getting and they know how elite this one was and it certainly wasn't easy uh, they had to work um, Tennessee was up there for a while and he felt like Tennessee was leading and then you know uh, Florida also got involved I mean it was several top teams in there and then but really, it's uh, it's the job FSU did early to set the tone of the relationships. And then I think the f- season going in a positive way, even though Lucas said they always say it doesn't matter. But I think it does when you when you see the continuity and you see you know, just at the development and how things are clicking. I think it certainly helped FSU kind of solidify him and then get, get him on board and then. Um, certainly Atkins deserves a massive amount of credit because of the relationship he, he built with him. But I think it's also just the culture and, and uh, the feeling that, hey, this is what they do with linemen. I feel good about that. I'm going to get developed. I'm going to be – I know he's going to make me a better player. And what I'm excited about this kid is I think he'll be faster in the development than most kids because of the way internationally he's from, just the teaching he's had, and just the way he picks up things so fast. Yeah, you can't teach that size, Michael. I'm looking at the clips, and there's one where he doesn't just pancake a kid. He knocks his helmet off, and that's yeah. that's always interesting and fun to see. But the movement, the speed, this is an yes. offensive line, Michael, that really prides itself on agility and being able to get from point A to point B. It doesn't matter if you're a center guard or tackle on this offensive line. Clearly, from the last couple of years in the running game, they want to get guys on the move. This looks like a player who fits that bill to a T on top of the fact that he's a unicorn at being nearly six foot eight on three has him listed at six, seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah. And, and two is his long arms. I mean, I remember Keldrick Falk telling me about that when he went against him in the Seminole showcase, he was like, I've never faced anybody like that, that had the range where you had to really study and maybe do some moves inside to really see if you could get an angle or advantage. And he just makes it really difficult. Uh, I think he played against Damian Wilson who ended up, I think at Georgia, one of the top 100, you know, defensive ends in the country. And uh, he, he, I mean, Lucas certainly uh, had a really great showing as far as against him. So I think, I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of teams. It's not just the quickness is when you have that range with your hand placement and your arm movement and, and you're utilizing it and then you're moving your feet. That's tough to handle. And so that's, I mean, the sky's the limit where this kids can go. I mean, I think he could be a, a really elite offensive lineman for FSU, you know, down the line. This seems like, Michael, just because of the work that Florida State has been doing in the portal to get veteran offensive linemen, and it seems like every 10 minutes there's another one that's coming to Tallahassee with a ton yeah. of collegiate experience, that if Florida State is to do what it did in 2022, which is blow out several opponents, this is a guy that they would get into four games. They would want to get him the work to speed up that development because, as you say, it won't take very long before this could be somebody who is affixed in your two deep, right? Yeah, and he's real early and rolly, so yeah. he's going to be there early. So he's not just going to just challenge for playing time. He might go past that four game limit of guy that you redshirt it, it, depending on how he grows and how he, I guess he develops through the spring and summer, and then we can kind of dictate just how much are we going to see of him. 
But um, certainly there's a learning process. There's a learning curve to the speed of the game. The blocking, the players you're blocking are different. Um, but certainly a guy that I think uh, you, you could see some of. Uh, how much is really going to dictate in the spring? It's one of the things I love doing when the practice access allows us out there. So <laughs> look at those trench drills. This is oh, a guy yeah. that personally, Michael, I'm fired up to go watch in Lucas Simmons. Florida State gets a four-star consensus offensive tackle. Stay tuned to Warchant.com throughout the day for more National Signing Day coverage. Make sure to like the video before you head to the next one. Thanks, Michael.